Will you come in? Hey, good morning and welcome to a day in the life with a reseller. My name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. And today I am going to take you along with me because I have a very busy day. Not all days are this busy and I'm not always this productive. I'm hoping that by filming this video, it's going to push me to be more productive than I've been lately. I've been a little bit of a slump um, with productivity. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because things are reopening and we are able to go out more. So I'm thinking less about my business, you know, actually being inside for quarantine and COVID for a year has really helped my business. I've been super focused and now other things are happening. So today I have to get a lot done. I have to film a haul video. So you'll see some behind the scenes for that. I just woke up and I had a reel on Instagram that I had been working on. I just saved the draft yesterday and I added the text today. So it just went up. It's just a fun little reel where I talk about getting started in reselling um, and it's doing all right. It's crazy to me when I look at reels, like I posted this maybe 12 minutes ago and it's at 1400 views. I really think that's a great thing about doing reels on Instagram is that you just get a lot more exposure fast and it has like those up to date stats. So I've only posted 10 reels in total. I had to make a payment to my um, Amazon group that I'm a part of. So I did that. I'm trying to get back into planning as many of you may or may not know, I'm big into planning and I've been so bad. I just, I don't know. I just lost my mojo on so many fronts. So this week I'm really trying to just get things in, grab my Tombow pens. I'm gonna try to make things look a little pretty right now. But uh, like I was saying earlier today, I do have to film a video. My assistant, Caitlin, is coming. She won't be here until 5 p.m. I just have a couple things to ship out. Sales have been very slow, but I haven't been listing a ton. So I'm gonna do some listings today. I have to schedule my son Rocco's wisdom teeth to be removed. I'm gonna have to edit my video, visiting a friend at three o'clock for like a quick hour. So let's see what we actually get accomplished today. I'm gonna bring you with me and we'll see how it goes. a few more Instagram questions and comments on YouTube. This is what I typically do in the morning. And then I'm going to hop in the shower so I don't look like this the whole video. Usually I look like this until noon, <laughs> but I'm going to put some makeup on for you and then come back down and start my shipping. That sounds good, stick around. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're having a good time at any point. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna be part of my community. I do a lot of haul videos and um, what's sold and just bring you along for my adventures in reselling. Just gonna make some breakfast before I get going today. This is one of my very favorite breakfasts. I am doing Weight Watchers. I'm on the purple plan. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. These are Trader Joe's pitted dark sweet cherries, zero points on the purple plan of Weight Watchers. Oats, also zero points. And then I add this. This is the crunchy cookie butter spread from Trader Joe's. It tastes like graham crackers. It's so delicious. A teaspoon of that is three points. Usually I do mine a little heaping, so I make it four points. My oats are getting ready to cook, so I add these to the pan. I have to do another half cup, stir that up. When it's ready, I just put it right on top here and then all the peanut butter melts. I swirl it in and it's delicious for three or four points. My oatmeal always boils over, so I've been adding it a little bit before it gets to be like super boiling. And then that way it's a little more tame when it's in the pan. It was a very high carb breakfast. When I was doing keto, this would be like a sin. <laughs> there was a lot of turkey bacon and hard boiled eggs, which I also still love. And typically I eat this later in the morning, but I'm trying to be productive and get my day going and Jay loves it. So I figured I would make it early. I also like to add a little bit of pure vanilla, just a little bit. 
for some added flavor. The cherries are really sweet. You can also do this with bananas. It still has some cooking to do. It thickens up really fast, so I don't like to let it get too thick before I put it in. I do two scoops. This is really filling. Boom. See, if this is really thick, it just doesn't melt as much. You can see all that butter breaking up. Oh, it's so delicious. These cherries definitely cool off your oatmeal, but they're delicious. These are also good to just eat on their own. They're like nature's candy. All right, time for breakfast. All right, ate my breakfast. Time to shower and, you know, try to clean up my act a little bit. All right, be right back. All right, <laughs> makeup's on. It is time to film my video. I just grabbed all the stuff from downstairs. In today's video, I'm hauling a huge container full of items that my daughter's friend from high school gave me. Just amazing things. Lululemon, Free People, Lily Pulitzer, New With Tag items, Patagonia, like just crazy nice stuff. Lulu's dresses. So, sorry, Lucky's drinking. He's very loud, he's very loud. So um, I'm excited to share that haul with you. And the title of the haul is going to be like, tell people what you do, something like that. I have to think of something clever. But honestly, like this is all free inventory. I'm gonna go through all the pieces and just see what I think they're going to, um, what they're gonna bring as a return. I am going to give Abby a $100 gift card because she just, she just gave me like really good stuff. I actually feel like $100 isn't enough. But she just dropped them off in my garage and left. All right, let's see what we're working with here. <laughs> this is my Cricut machine. Good, I'm glad it's, I can use it as an end table because you know, I'm not doing anything with. This is the bin of stuff. This is my setup and it's kind of a mess in here. I bought this light recently and I really wish I had gotten like the next size up. It's great for daytime lighting, but anytime I wanna film a video at night, it's just not enough. So I have some stuff to ship today. Usually before I start my videos, I try to make it somewhat presentable in the background. I try not to have too much junk back here. I have to go to the post office today, so I purposely did not do a pickup um, with the post office because that will force me to go to go on my own. So going to a friend's around three o'clock, so I'm gonna pick up my stuff at the post office. Oh, and this is my new case. It's from Chic Geeks. I ordered this and I have the matching cell phone. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Whoops, didn't need to put that light on. All right, time to start filming. Here, very 70s looking, like I love the pattern flower. It has gold buttons down I've just been editing like for the past people, couple of hours. But then it's <laughs> just very finished a little turkey sandwich. So Still going strong here. Buttons. I think they are so pretty. The cool thing about I get sick of looking at myself for so long. <laughs> I have finished my video and I have been editing for, oh gosh, a good two hours. I'm struggling with the memory on my MacBook Pro. It keeps filling up, so I keep having to pause and delete things in between, so it's taking a little bit more time to edit, but I'm getting there. I'm going to run to the post office, drop off some shipping, and then get back for five o'clock because... Um, Caitlin will be here and we are going to get a lot of the stuff listed from this haul and hopefully I will have this scheduled to go live around 6 p.m. 5 36 p.m. and we'll be um, adding items all night. Caitlin's here from 5 to 8 so usually she takes the photographs I make items go live. I know I've talked several times about my girlfriend, Annie, who we lost back in April. She passed away in a motorcycle accident. But my girlfriend, Kim, and Marie, and I try to get together regularly, and we've definitely all been seeing a lot of each other, even more so now since we lost Annie. So today's just like a quick one hour visit. Um, I did not get to any of my shipping. This always happens on days that I film. Whenever I try to film, edit, and post in the same day, it's just all consuming. It really doesn't leave me much time to do anything else. So 
as much as I wanted to list today and get my shipping out before I went to Kim's. I didn't get that done, so my local post office closes at 4.30 so I don't think I have much time to stop. I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but in my What Sold video, I had a Free People leather coat, new with tag, that somebody had opened up a case on, said that they believed it to be altered. It had not been altered. I, I, it was not a case that I supported, let me just put it that way, and the case was approved. So it was $180 return awesome and then yesterday somebody had purchased a hundred and twenty five dollars they offered me at a hundred and fifty dollar listing on a Tory Burch wallet which I accepted and then they requested to cancel shortly after they purchased it that sucked because in two transactions um, I got over three hundred dollars in returns it's actually been a really tough go for me lately as far as sales go in the month of May. In part because I haven't I haven't been um, as active and also just kind of bad luck. It can be very frustrating at times, so I, I every, it happens to everybody and this has not been a great month for me. I've also had a lot going on with uh, Angie getting out of school and visiting Anthony for graduation and I went to the vineyard so it's been kind of crazy so I just need to settle in and focus which I'm doing so alrighty I will see you in a little bit We just met for about an hour. I did not go to the post office, but it was great to catch up with my friends as always. I brought strawberries and chocolate hummus. Have you guys had the Sabra's dark chocolate hummus? Oh my gosh, it's so good. So this was like very Weight Watchers point friendly. And um, then I got there and of course my friend had chips and salsa. So I had to scan the chips. They were gluten-free tortillas. They were really good. One of my friends is gluten-free. So, but most tortillas don't have gluten, but these were like super thin. But I pointed them and they were seven points. I should have pointed them before, but I pointed them afterwards, like how many I ate. That means we're gonna have to have a very low point dinner. And that's okay, because now I'm full from the strawberries and the hummus and the chips. So I'm gonna run inside. Caitlin's coming um, at five o'clock. I need to take all of the clothes that I just hauled that are still in my office, bring them downstairs, the ones that haven't been listed yet, hang them up for Caitlin so she can photograph. The other ones I'm going to package up for inventory. It looks like I'm not gonna get this stuff in the mail today that was supposed to go out. Ugh. I'm home, I'm gonna run inside and get ready. Hey, did you miss me? Did you miss me? You did? What'd you get? Oh, good. You needed clothes. Can you say hi? It was expensive. What'd you get? I don't know, like just random shorts because I have one pair. <laughs> well, you're growing mighty fast. <laughs> Is this your shirt, actually? Yeah. It's, it's like a half shirt on you. <laughs> it's good you ordered clothes, Rocco. It's good. Here is the aftermath of my haul. It's kind of a mess in here. So a bunch of these, anything that's on the hanger still needs to be listed. Some of these, I think I'm gonna go through because like that I already listed, this I listed, this I listed. I think I'm gonna package all of these up. The process is we list, we haul, we inventory. So all these things have been hauled and listed. Some of these haven't, so these I'll hang up for Caitlin downstairs. These I'm gonna leave up here so I can package them up. I try to do my best to touch the inventory as little as possible. Like instead of bringing all of this stuff back downstairs and putting it in another pile, I'm just gonna inventory it now. That way it will save one step for me. Let's bring this downstairs. start down here. So usually when Caitlin gets here, what is all this? I don't know where that came from. I like to come down to the basement, get everything set up for her. This is where I put 
There I am. Hello. I put all the stuff for her to work on so that when she gets here, I've already steamed all these. Really, depending on the day, um, sometimes I'm more prepared. Yesterday, I listed a bunch, bunch of shoes on my own that I photographed. Um, these are bins of inventory that still need to be put away. Um, and I use the tote scan system, so it takes a little time. This is my my little light box that I use from Amazon. It's from Amazon Basics. But I like to have everything plugged in and ready to go for Caitlin. This is my ring light. So I get that all set. And this fell off the wall. I don't know what happened here. Let me put this back up here. This picture has moved a thousand times in my office. I always hang my measuring tapes over my ring light so I always know where to find them. And these I photographed already so I just like to have the area kind of clean for Caitlin when she gets here. Nobody likes to work in a messy space. These shoes, for the most part, I haven't hauled these yet. These are from my Cape Cod trip, so I'm just trying to get ahead of things and get some stuff posted before the video goes live because it's always nice to have stuff available for people to shop. All right, I'm going to see how Caitlin's doing, what she's up to. There she is. Hi. My savior. <laughs> this is Caitlin. She is going to graduate from high school with Rocco. She's like taking pics down yeah. here. How's it going? What are you working on, love? Good. I have just been photographing and mm -hmm. then packaging some of the new stuff. Awesome. I love you. Yeah. So today she's been, um, as she's photographing, she is then packaging stuff up. And these are all things that I have to tote scan. Yeah. yeah. You, she's like moving on. Like you've already mm -hmm. done the stuff so from fast. the Cape, right? Yeah. yeah. You're going so fast. You know. I would be lost without Caitlin. All right. I just wanted you to say hi to everybody. Bye. Thanks, hon. Bye. Sorry for the terrible lighting. I just clearly didn't do any shipping or listing tonight. I have a ton of drafts from Caitlin. God bless her. And I got my video posted. I've been just kind of hanging on the couch, wiped, wiped, wiped. So I am going to go to bed. It's about 10 of 11 and I'm going to wake up in the morning and I will do some shipping and listing with you. And then we'll wrap up this day in the life. So I guess we're like a day in a morning in the life. One of the things that I like to do um, to motivate me for an AM rally is to schedule a pickup. I'm going to fill in all this info and it's really simple on the USPS website and I will set up a pickup for tomorrow morning which will get me up and motivated. And I said this earlier when I film a video and edit in post it's a lot to do in one day. I think I overestimated how much I'd get done. Anyone coming to bed with me? Mm -hmm. Are you coming upstairs? Hmm? Come on, let's go in the night. Good morning, everyone. I got another late start today, but today um, feels good because um, I've been looking for a new car. I drive a Ford Flex right now, which I love. It's got like the white top, but it's so beat up. It's seven years old. You know, I am hard on my vehicles. Like I, I don't, I don't baby them at all. I'm hard on my jewelry, my shoes, like everything. I'm just, I'm just not very delicate. What can I say? Uh, we've been looking for a new car and I've been hemming and hawing, like I'm not getting anything with the third row, but I still want like an SUV because I kind of like the height. My Ford Flex is dark, so I want a white vehicle. So I've been test driving stuff all week and I think we found something. I'm at the point where I'm like, well, do I like this color interior or that color interior? Like it's down to stuff that's really not important. Jay kind of stays out of it. He's not a car guy. He always buys like the base model of anything because he commutes to Boston. I used to commute to Boston. So he is always like, I don't want to get a fancy car to go into a parking lot and get dinged. So he never like humors me on, you know, the first world problems I have when it comes to looking for a car. I think we found something. He's going to come test drive it with me. He's like, tell me when you're ready and then I'll go. So that is a big weight lifted because that's been sucking up a lot of my time. Um, I have some sales that need to go out today, so I'm still here. I can show you all the aftermath of yesterday's haul video. Thank you to anybody who watched. This dress right here sold to a viewer. 
and it is so gorgeous. This was like my, one of my favorite things in the whole haul. She bought a bundle. So she got a good deal on the bundle, like probably like 40% off or 35% off, but this was in it. It's just so beautiful from Free People and there's like a dress underneath. So I'm shipping some stuff out. Um, I did set up a postal pickup. So right now I am just packing up from my haul. I have big incentive to be productive today because the more productive I am, the better I'll feel. We're gonna test drive my car at 6 p.m. It's um, in Burlington, which is about a 35 minute ride for me. Um, so it'll just be nice if I go there and the house is clean and my inventory is caught up. I always feel good the day after I get a video posted because it's a little bit of a breather for me in between filming for videos. Even though I'm filming this, this has kind of been a little bit more of a chill pace. So, all right, so I am going to get the shipping done. Do you want to see what I'm shipping out today? I can show you. Um, this is a Lulu's romper. It's so adorable. I priced it at 35. I got a $25 offer on it. It's like a charcoal gray floral and I love dark floral patterns. They're my fave. Um, so really cute. I wasn't sure how fast this was gonna move because rompers have been moving pretty slowly in my closet. This has to get out. This is late. This is a Fox racing shirt. I believe this went to a viewer as well. So thank you. He sent me an offer that was a lot lower than um, then my price and I accepted it. I think I paid $4 for this and I took a $19 offer. It's not like a huge seller, it's men's item. Sales have been slow, so if you've been wanting to shop my closet, it's a good time to send me an offer because I'm just being pretty generous about just moving things out. I've been buying a lot of inventory, so I haven't been worrying so much about having that really high selling price or whatever. I've been more focused on like, let's just move some stuff out because I've been doing so much sourcing. This was another lower offer that I accepted. These, I love this brand. It's called, they're called Chocolate Blue. Um, and I've bought these twice before in like a ballet flat style. And they've both sold um, more like in the 40, 40, $45 range. I think I accepted a $30 offer on these. I had them priced at 50. What did I pay for these? I think I paid more like seven on these. I was thinking I got these at the store that I pay five for shoes. So I paid seven, still a good profit, $30 sale, 20% Poshmark fees is $6. That leaves me with 24. If I um, spent seven on these, subtract that, what's that, 17? So more than doubling my money. Usually I like to triple on thrifted items, but again, just trying to move some stuff. Um, the rest of the stuff I have to pull from downstairs. I just want to show you this because I am having so much fun with this camera. It's so compact and this little handle is awesome. There are some controls on the back that I haven't figured out how to use, but it's so much easier than the Canon to just walk around. Once I do a haul and start packaging things up before I tote scan them, I keep them in these bins that are you know, not inventoried yet because oftentimes I'm selling stuff right after a haul. I sold these vintage pillowcases. I think it was just one. I got these at an estate sale, these Asian silk vintage pillowcases. Um, like they have a $70 price tag on them, but anyways, this is the one I sold and it sold for $20. Um, but I paid a dollar for each of these, but actually I paid 50 cents because many of them were two in a package. So I sold this on Poshmark. Isn't it lovely for $20 and it has all this embroidery on it. Okay. Then I also sold a pair of Bowden jeans, which I think are right here. I put my jeans in order from small to large sizes. So these, I hope these are them. I'm working one handed here with my camera. Bowden, yay. I sold these for $35. Of course, the one shirt that I really need that needs to go out is one I'm struggling to find. So I may have to put my camera down so I can really hustle. It's a anthropology shirt. So this is the top that sold that I was looking for. Um, I kept overlooking it when I was pulling shipping items. It sold for $28. I actually recently purchased this at Savers and um, I haven't even put it in a haul video, but that was one of the items that went out this day. Also, this was the bundle that sold with the Free People top. This sold for $75. This was 38 listed, 28 listed, 45 listed. This airy 
uh, set of sweatpants was from Angie. So that didn't cost me any money. This was an old, old sweater I've had for over a year. And this was a vintage sweater I spent $4 on. So all in, I was in this for about $10. This was given to me. So it sold for $115. Poshmark fees were $23. My earnings were $92, less $10. So this was a great profit. And I'll show you one other sale from that day. These chocolate blue, this was the, the romper, the silk thing. Oh, these this Kipling bag also went out on this day. And some of my crossbody travel bags sales have picked up a little bit, which is really nice. So this is just over $20. I had this listed at $35 or $38, but I accepted this offer again, trying to move some stuff. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a glimpse of what my day looks like or a couple of days. Um, I'll be back real soon with a haul video. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, the New England series should start up next week. Thanks, everybody.